Thank you very much. I felt that uh, as Father's Day is approaching, it's uh, important that we take time to reflect on how annoying children can be. <laughs> this is an essay from my book entitled, Welcome to Plain Pasta, Can I Take Your Order? <laughs> Feeding children is the worst. Not the starving ones in distant lands, they'd at least be appreciative. I'm talking about the ones who live in my house. <laughs> it should be joyful and gratifying when you make something and feed the ones you love. But when the ones you love are under three feet tall, that is seldom the case. <laughs> Feeding your own children is more nerve-wracking than cooking for a cranky New York Times food critic who just had his car towed. <laughs> my kids don't like anything. They eyeball their plates like an agent on CSI looking for DNA. <laughs> They see a speck of pepper and they completely shut down. What's that green thing? Why is this different? Mom doesn't make it like this. I'd like to see the chef. Oh, you are the chef? Well, you're fired. I honestly don't get it. When I was a kid, I was a garbage can. I ate stuff the dog passed up. If I didn't recognize the food, I didn't even ask what it was. I just figured it out by eating it. Liking it was beside the point. I hated Brussels sprouts, but that didn't stop me from eating them. I crammed them into my mouth, washed them down with some milk, and moved on. I was just happy that someone was giving me food. Maybe that's why at eight years old, I was the same size I am today. <laughs> I think we give our children too many choices. My kids walk into the house like it's Applebee's and immediately ask to hear about the specials. <laughs> if they don't like the answer, they let me know about it. And if they hear that their sister does like it, they immediately don't. <laughs> I tried for years to make them happy. Maybe they'll like this, maybe they'll like that, but nothing worked. When I failed to come up with anything, I thought, maybe if we just don't feed them, they'll get so hungry they'll have to eat what we give them. <laughs> and this could have worked, but my wife doesn't like starving our own children as much as I do. <laughs> After all these years, I gave up. I'm done trying. From now on, all they get is plain pasta. It's the only meal that never disappoints. It's nothing but starchy noodles with virtually no vitamins or minerals, but they eat it every time. And at this point, that's all I can ask for. If I had the money and the energy and knew anything about business, I would open a restaurant and call it plain pasta. <laughs> Do you realize how popular this restaurant would be? called Plain Pasta. Families would be dying to get a table at Plain Pasta. Anyone with a child would be making reservations months in advance, planning their birthday parties and, and ordering takeout. How happy would kids be in a place where Plain Pasta was the only item? It's tailor-made for them. Their parents can't suggest that they try the scallops or eat a vegetable, because there aren't any. There isn't even a pepper shaker in the place. The parents would be ecstatic, too, because they won't have to worry about what to feed them. They could skip ordering altogether, walk in, sit down, and whammo. A big bowl of plain pasta is slammed down before them like it's feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> and by the way, this is not to be confused with my other popular restaurant, Chicken Fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah. That place is a little more down and dirty. There are no utensils at Chicken Fingers. There aren't even napkins. You pick up your chicken fingers out of a metal bucket, duck, dunk them into one of our 12 dipping sauces, and wipe your hands off on your jeans. <laughs> there are chairs for the adults, but not at the tables. The parents sit in lounge chairs around the outskirts of the room, drinking beer and wine, while the kids run around the place grabbing chicken, eating what they want, and throwing the rest at their friends. <laughs> Oh, what sweet irony it would be if I were to become a millionaire from these two restaurants. For years, my kids don't eat a thing I make, and suddenly, here I am, feeding the children of the world, Tom Papa, owner of Plain Pasta and Chicken Fingers. What a dad. <laughs> Um, I'll speak for myself, uh, having two kids, that was chillingly accurate. <laughs>